Hey everyone, fitness and sports instructor Sarah here. We're gonna do a recovery workout. So grab a foam roller and a tennis ball. We're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up if you aren't warm already. If you have recently just stopped wor uh, working out and you're using this video as a cool down, uh, feel free to skip past that little warm up that we'll be doing and move right into the foam rolling portion. So let's get to it. Okay, we're just gonna go through a short little bit of a warm up here if you're going into this recovery piece uh, with cold muscles. We just wanna warm up the muscles, we wanna get the blood flowing and just increase that mobility just a little bit before we begin. All right, so just walking high knees on the spot. Just do 10 more steps here. And last one. All right, so we're gonna squat on the spot. So shoulder width apart, feet, squat down. So 10 of these. And seven, nine, and 10. All right, some step back lunges here. Three per side. One more per side. <sighs> All right, make sure you give yourself some space here if you're by the wall. And just some backwards arm circles. Five going backwards, five going forward. All right, arms across the front of your chest. So that's five, five more. All right, and then arms, we're just gonna press up overhead. That's five, five more. Okay. Some lateral lunges, nice step out to the side. So three per side. I'm gonna do three all on one side and then switch to the other. Switch into that other side. All right, now that we're feeling a little bit more warm, Let's move on into that first portion of our recovery, the foam rolling. All right, going into the first portion of our self-myofascial release or foam rolling as it's also called, we're gonna start and do the lower body from the lower back all the way down to our feet. Um, if you feel like there isn't any areas you wanna target for your recovery workout, feel free to skip and skip into the next portion of the video where we'll be doing a little bit more of the upper body self myofascial release. All right, so starting with our gastrocnemius inner soleus, we're gonna roll out also what's referred to as our calves. So you can use your right foot to bear weight so that you're not bearing too much weight on the calf and start from the base, so closer to that ankle going up towards the knee until you feel that tight and tender area. And then we're gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. So just roll until you find it. If you need a little bit more pressure, you can rest that leg right on top. Make sure you stay active in your shoulders as well. And then we'll hold it there for about 30 seconds. Remember to keep breathing while you're doing this as well. We're about halfway done. If you need to shorten the time limit to about 20 seconds to start, feel free to do so. Also, don't feel like you need to put too much pressure on. We don't want you to be in a whole lot of pain while you're doing this either. All right, I'm gonna switch to the other side now and get that one on the go. All right, 
find that tender area, hold it there, 30 seconds. Remember to keep breathing while you're doing this as well. If you find this isn't a tight area for you, feel free to skip forward a little bit. Uh, next, we'll be doing hamstrings. Just about, keep holding there, keep breathing. to the hamstrings next. I'm going to start with my left side right from just above under the back of the knee there. If you want a little bit more pressure, cross your leg over. Otherwise, use your right leg to wait there. All right, and roll towards the glute until you feel that tight spot. Try and relax the muscle as well while you're doing this. Just so that it makes it a little easier to get to that adhesion in the muscle. And then find that tight spot and hold it. And breathe, just relax. Switching sides to the other side. I'll cross that leg over just because I want a little bit more pressure. And then I'll roll. And then stopping right on that tender spot there. halfway done. If you feel that you're extra tight, you got a few trigger points or uh, adhesions, also known as those tight spots that we're looking for when we're foam rolling, feel free to go over the area again and find that other spot and then hold for that 30 seconds as well. All right, so from there I'm gonna switch it over to my adductors and I'm gonna just lay on my side. I'm going to bend my left knee here and then I'm going to roll inwards. If you need a little bit more pressure again, lift your body and put a little bit more of that weight on that left leg and then roll until you feel that tight spot there. And then we're going to hold it 30 seconds again. stay active in those shoulders as you're, you're resting on them so that way you're not just slouching. All right, switching sides over to the other adductor. Until you feel that tight spot. Found that one pretty quick. Remember to breathe. switching over to our glutes next. All right, for this one, we'll get you to cross that 
leg over your opposite leg here. And then we're gonna sort of tip onto the top of that glute there and roll until you feel that tight spot right there and hold. done. All right. If you find there's still another area that you want to roll for that glute, feel free to do so. And switch over sides, crossing that leg over the top of my left thigh, leaning over onto my right glute a bit and roll until you feel that tight spot, tight, tender spot, and then hold. Remember to keep breathing while you're doing this. Just relax and relax those muscles at the same time. to the, the outer portion of our leg here. We're going to do our adductors. All right, roll until you feel that tight spot. And then hold it there. Staying active in the shoulders and chest to hold your body up properly. Feel free to lean back into it if you want the weight distributed over top of your body for just a little bit more pressure. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. Bring the foam over to the other side. I'm gonna outstretch that right leg. Start closer to that knee, and then you're going to roll towards the glutes. Until you find that tight spot, and then hold it there. done. Just got two more areas of the lower body that we're going to target and then we'll move on to the upper body portion. All right. Gonna go for a little bit of a lower back roll. So bring that harder portion of your lower back onto the foam roller using your hands as support, and then roll until you feel a tender spot there, and then hold it. So we're, we're aiming to target that uh, quadratus lumborum on the back there, the lower back. Feel free to adjust if you need to. And keep breathing while you're doing this as well. All right, we'll drop it down. For the next one, we're gonna do hip flexors. So I'm gonna 
toss that foam roller aside. Grab me a tennis ball. I'm gonna pop that on the floor here. Just about under where my hips are gonna go. All right, so for hip flexors, I'm gonna I'll put it on this side so you can see. So I'm gonna go right underneath my hip here, starting from the top, rolling down, looking for that tight spot. Feel free to roll along the muscle belly until you find that tight spot and then hold it there. for a little bit longer before we switch sides again. All right, grab that ball. I'm gonna flip around so you can see it from this side. Put that ball just underneath just below where that hip bone is, and then roll for that tight spot. And then hold it there. So that completes the lower body portion of the recovery. We'll move on to the upper body portion, starting with our right side here. We're gonna be on our side, but a little bit more up towards the ceiling. Starting from the back here, we're gonna do our lats. So roll with your arm up straight overhead until you feel that tight spot there, and then hold it. to keep breathing while you're doing this as well. If you want a little bit more pressure, lift the lower body up off of the ground so that the weight is being put onto that lat. All right, while I'm here, we're gonna go and do our serratus anterior on the side here. So. This time we're gonna be a little bit more onto our side towards the camera here. And I'm gonna roll up my side until I feel that tight spot and I'm gonna stop right about there. Again, lift that hip up off the ground if you want a little bit more pressure. You can only handle 20 seconds at a time, that's fine, only do 20, but start in and around that 20 to 30 second mark and then work your way up. All right, switch sides. So to hit those lats again, onto your side, but a little bit more open towards that ceiling. Arm up and roll back. those hips up for a little bit more pressure. All right, so bring the foam roller down a little bit, fully onto our sides now. 
We're gonna get that serratus anterior, so arm up. And then hold. to our upper back now. So starting from about mid back too, if you want to get those erectors just going up. So just cross your arms across the front of your chest and then roll. Keep going until you get to about that middle of the back portion. So we're gonna target about our traps and our rhomboids a little bit more to the left side. That's gonna target more of that left side there and then same with that right. But roll around on it until you find those areas where those trigger points are. And then we'll hold it. You need to put your hands behind your neck, just to support your neck from uh, any strain. Feel free to do so. And then we'll just hold it there. Try and relax. And breathe as well. So arms behind our head. All right, I'm gonna turn it over so I can get the pe pectorals with the ball. So for this one, I'm gonna take it from about the middle, just off to the side from the middle of the chest, and then I'm gonna try and roll the ball towards my shoulder here. So just where that attachment will be, just about under here. All right. So don't put too much pressure on, just enough that you feel like you need. And then we're just gonna roll so slightly. So straighten out that right arm, the arm that has the ball beside it. And then use your other hand to support you as you roll towards that armpit. And then hold it where you feel like you need to where you got that trigger point that a little bit of tenderness in that spot and breathe all right i'll switch sides get that other side done so again, ball's gonna go right about there where my chest is. You can also do this on a wall if you find that's a little bit easier. I find the floor works pretty good too. So if you can see the, where the ball is, roll it towards the edge there, find that trigger point. If you need to reposition and do so, that's fine too. Until you find that tight spot and hold. All right, we got one more area we're gonna hit, hang tight. Okay, for this one, we're gonna hit the tops of our traps, just along the side of where our neck is. So for this one, you're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna bring that ball between the top of your shoulder and the wall. And then we're gonna roll until you find that tender spot and then hold it there. 
Make sure you have good form for this one as you'll be bent over at the same time. So we want to maintain a nice neutral spine, use those glutes while you're hinged over, just because we don't want to create any sore backs while we're doing this. All right, I'm just gonna shorten that one up a bit. We'll switch sides for that. Going over to the other side. So again, slight bend in the knees, hinge at the hips. Use that wall. And then hold. stop that one there. So that works on any corner wall that you can use. If you can't, you can always just use your hand to hold that ball or you can grab a towel and you'll grab the front of the towel here. You'll take your right arm, grab the back of the towel here and you'll just pull enough to add pressure to the top of that trap there to release that any tension you got going on. All right, so from here we're going to go and do some stretching and get our get all these muscles stretched out okay now that we've done our self myofascial release we've worked to break up some of the adhesions or tight spots in our muscles now we're gonna stretch those muscles out a bit okay so from standing um, we're gonna stand to our side here we're gonna bend at our hips okay stretching out the back of our legs and then we're gonna Sort of let your arms hang there. Slowly relax that spine. Let the arms hang and drop and make sure you breathe. Starting from about a 20 second hold, if that's what you can handle. Don't worry about where your hands are reaching to. Just stretch it out and breathe. All right, so when we come back up, we're gonna come up nice and slow and controlled. We're gonna drop it down to the ground here. Left leg out. The left arm on top of your left leg, you're gonna take your right arm, cactus it out to the side. And as we reach towards those feet, keep that chest open. And we're gonna reach up overhead so we can stretch out that lower back and the lats as well. Sort of hitting uh, a bunch of areas at once here. We're hitting the back of our legs, our back at the same time. This one's really good if you tend to get a sore lower back. All right, we're coming out of the stretch. Nice and slow with the arm first, and then back up. Switching sides. You can also repeat this or hold the stretches for a little bit longer as well. So feel free to pause the video anytime that you need. So open that chest up again, because we don't want to have it hunched over. So open it up, arm up overhead, nice and slow and breathe. Nice slow release with the arm first, then come up nice and slow. And then from here, we're gonna go down onto our backs. Keeping those knees bent, we're just gonna drop them to the sides. Stretching out our adductors and our hips as well. Kinda let those legs just relax and slowly fall to the floor. And nice deep breaths.
breathe in. And then for this one, when I come out of this one, I like to just support the one leg, bring the other leg in, and bring them in one at a time. All right, bring your right leg across the top of your thigh, and we're gonna bring the thigh into the chest or towards the chest area. Keeping those hips, we're keeping the hips on the ground as well. Get a little bit of a, a stretch in your hip on your right leg as well as your glutes at the same time. Slow lower, switch sides. Bring that leg up. Try and keep those hips down on the ground. Head stays down on the ground as well because we don't want to be straining the front of our necks while we're doing this. Just relax that head on the ground. bring and leave our legs at 90 here. We're going to bring them over to the side. We're going to go all the way over onto the side here. Make sure those hips stay stacked and then we're going to take our, our right arm, cactus that out, so 90 degrees, and open our chest out to the sky. Get a nice stretch in our thoracic spine, our pectorals. Remember to breathe for this one. If you want a little bit more of a stretch in that arm, keep it at 90, but reach up a little bit overhead. That's so all. Gets a, a real good stretch in that chest there. Remember to keep the hips also facing that way. All right, bring the arm back down, back over to the side. We're gonna switch sides for this one. All right, switching sides, stacking the hips, and cactusing that arm out, reaching up if you want a little bit more of a stretch in that chest there. Remember to keep breathing for this one as well. back in nice and slow we're gonna go back just into like the recovery position on the side here we're gonna grab the back of that or I guess the top of that ankle and we're gonna stretch our quads out while we're laying here Holding, keep breathing, we'll switch sides soon. All right, nice slow release. Switching sides. Grabbing the top of that ankle. Pulling that leg back and make sure to breathe while you're stretching. A couple more stretches left to do and that would be our recovery workout for the day. All right, nice and slow release. Bringing it up onto your knees for this next portion. You got a mat for when you're on the knees here. That would be perfect. Bring that left leg up. So we're gonna be mindful of our hip placement here because we don't wanna have our hips tilted the wrong way. We want it tilted up like this because what we're gonna try and stretch is that hip flexor. So we're gonna push 
that hip forward, just enough to get that stretch in the front there. If you want a little bit more of a stretch, take that right arm up overhead and lean back just slightly. So you feel the stretch all in the front here. Nice and slow release, switching sides. Again, be mindful of those hips so they're not positioned incorrectly, okay? You wanna tilt them ever so slightly. Push those hips forward just to get a nice stretch in the front of our hip flexors there. Reach up and overhead if you need a little bit more of a stretch and then push those hips forward as well. All right, nice slow release. If you're feeling you need a little bit more stretching, feel free to go through that one more time on the areas that you feel need just that little extra stretch. Uh, otherwise, you can hold stretches for a little bit longer as well. Thanks for joining me today on our recovery workout. We got our foam rolling and our stretching done, and we'll see you next time.